Trepidarians made India their home and lighted their first sacrificial fire on the banks of the Sindhu, the Indus. Long before the ancient Egyptians and Babylonians had built their magnificent civilization, the holy waters of the Indus were daily witnessing the lucid and curling columns of the scented sacrificial smokes and the valley's resounding chants of Vedic hymns. The spiritual fervor that animated their souls. The adventurous valor that propelled their intrepid enterprises, the sublime heights to which their thoughts rose, all these had marked them out as a people destined to lay the foundation of a great and enduring civilization. Germany's solemn idea of the revival of Aryan culture, the glorification of the swastika, her patronage of Vedic learning, and the ardent championship of the tradition of Indo-Germanic civilization are welcomed by the religious and sensible Hindus of India with a jubilant hope. Germany's crusade against the enemies of Aryan culture will bring all the Aryan nations of the world to their senses and awaken the Indian Hindus for the restoration of their lost glory. As mankind expanded, Forest areas decreased in surface or vanished away altogether. The forests of France and of the British Isles, where stately priests and virgins worshipped the principle of eternal life in the sacred oak, gradually fell under the merciless axe. The United States of America were a land of forests as late as the middle of the 19th century. There, in the place of the murdered trees, roads and railways, towns with endless suburbs, villages rapidly growing into towns, and vast expanses of cultivated land. More and more cultivated land to feed more and more people who might as well have never been born. There is no hope of putting things right in such an age. It is essentially the age described in the Book of Books, the Bhagavad Gita, as that in which out of the corruption of women proceeds the confusion of castes, out of the confusion of castes the loss of memory, out of the loss of memory the lack of understanding, and out of this all evils. Thank <laughs> you.